He went to such a small school, he was never supposed to play high major football. He ended up proving everyone wrong, became a two-time All-SEC member, a first-team All-American, and one of the best defenders in the SEC over the last 10 years. Unfortunately, he'd only get one small chance in the NFL, and despite how great he was, his professional career was pretty much as long as any of ours. In today's video, I want to go through the careers of one of the best defenders in the SEC over the last few years, his crazy career, and why he never got a chance in professional football. But right before we get into that, nearly 80% of you guys are not subscribed, so be sure to hit that subscribe button as I really appreciate it, and I know we can do better than that. Now, let's get started. You may be wondering who the subject of today's video is, and it is none other than Cody Pruitt, a former safety from Ole Miss, and let's turn it over to him to give a quick message to you guys. Yo, what's up guys? This is Cody Pruitt. I played safety at Ole Miss for four years. I was first team All-American, two-time All-American, and two-time All-SEC player. I uh, signed with the Titans for a brief period of time right after Ole Miss. I helped out Scott on today's video, so be sure to subscribe to his channel and hit the likes. Uh, puts in a lot of hard work, talks to a lot of athletes, you know, just trying to spread their stories. So show them some love, subscribe, hit the likes. Thanks, guys. So yeah, what he said. But in order to understand what went wrong for Cody Pruitt, we need to go back in time and see how he became a star to begin with. He grew up in the state of Mississippi and his grandparents would have a massive impact on his life and he always took a liking to the Ole Miss Rebels. At 10 years old, he said he wanted to play for Ole Miss and that he loved watching Eli Manning. Pruitt said, quote, I've loved Ole Miss since I was a kid, since I've put on a helmet and I've always wanted to play here. I hope I'm remembered as somebody who gave it their all when they're on the field. Unfortunately, his grandfather would pass away before he could see Cody have all that success in college, but one of the last things he told him was that he wanted him to play on TV, and Cody would make this happen. Well, how did he make it happen? He cut out all the bad influences in his life and just got to work. He would transfer schools during his freshman year, and the odds of him becoming a big time college player were kind of low at this point because he went to a small private school. He's known as one of the most humble and dedicated players around, but it wasn't always that way. One time he celebrated a touchdown a little too much and Cody had this to say about it. Quote, my head coach told me if I ever did that again, I wouldn't play for him. That made me humble and humility will carry you very far. During his sophomore year, he would hear from Ole Miss head coach Houston Nutt, but it took a while for him to get that beloved offer. He said, quote, I picked up an offer from Southern Miss about a week after signing day, and I talked with Ole Miss, and I don't have an offer from them yet, and they're trying to find some space for me. I'm interested in Florida, but I haven't really heard much from them, but Oregon has been sending me a lot of stuff recently, and seems interested in both Clemson and Auburn are showing interest as well. Before his senior year would come, he'd finally get that Ole Miss offer, and there was never really another school he wanted to go to, so he decided to commit. After speaking with him on the phone, there really was not another school he was really interested in, but Ole Miss was the place his heart wanted to be. He played at Silva Bay Academy, which was a small private school in Bay Springs, Mississippi, and he had this to say about coming from a small town. I'm proud to be able to represent the small towns in some of those schools that don't necessarily think they have the chance or the opportunity, and this shows them that hard work would pay off. He eventually was such a superstar in the state that his jersey was retired by his high school, and now he'd go into Ole Miss with a ton of passion and the willingness to work. According to 24-7 Sports, Pruitt was a high three-star recruit, the number 25 athlete, and the 386th best player in the class of 2011. Going into his Ole Miss football career, he had a good amount of hype, but he was not the safety that many people know him by. He actually came in as a wide receiver, and he would eventually move to defense, which was something he was not happy about at first. He said, quote, I really wanted to play offense because that's where I'd played all my life. He ended up making the best decision for his career, and the coaching staff was very happy, as he would see the field in 2011. He would appear in seven games, but it was a miserable year for the Rebels. Under fourth-year head coach Houston Nutt, the Rebels went 2-10, and, and it was a low point for the program. He finished the year with 32 tackles and an interception, and was one of the brightest players on the team. Going into 2012, the Rebels had nabbed an up-and-coming head coach from Arkansas State by the name of Hugh Freeze. He became their new head man, and he would turn things around pretty quickly. They would end up winning six regular season games, including wins over Auburn, Arkansas, and their rival number 25, Mississippi State. They would go to the Birmingham Bowl, where they would beat Pittsburgh, and they would finish with a 7-5 record, but some of these wins were later vacated, but I don't count that. As a sophomore, Pruitt would finish with 80 total tackles, two forced fumbles, one and a half sacks, and two interceptions, and he was ready for a breakout 2013 campaign. This would be the year that Ole Miss would really start to break out, as they would win their first three games, including a road win against Texas. 
while they would lose their next three matchups, they would beat number six LSU to start a four game winning streak. At this point, they are ranked number 24 going into their game against number eight Missouri, and they would lose both that game and the Mississippi State game, and they would finish with a seven and five regular season record. From there, they'd beat Georgia Tech in the Music City Bowl, and they would finish with eight wins. Pruitt would have a monster junior campaign as he finished with 70 tackles, two forced fumbles, and six interceptions. Because of that, Pruitt was named a first-team All-American by some sources and a first-team All-SEC player. At this point, he actually could have been a first-round pick, but he'd make a decision that would affect the rest of his life. He decided to come back to Ole Miss for his senior year and run it back with that team. When I talked to him, he said that he does not regret this decision, as he had a very memorable 2014 campaign and had some of the best moments of his life. In 2014, Ole Miss was absolutely on fire, and they were one of the hottest teams in the country as they started out ranked number 18. They beat Boise State in the Chick-fil-A kickoff game, and they were 4-0 headed into their massive matchup with number 3 Alabama. This game went back and forth, but Bo Wallace solidified one of the biggest games in school history as they would knock off the Crimson Tide and Ole Miss was 5-0 for the first time in such a long time. From there, they go on the road and beat number 14 Texas A&M the following week, and after a win over Tennessee, they were as high as number 3 in the country. Game day would come for their road matchup with number 24 LSU, and they dropped both that game and one against Auburn the following week, and all of a sudden their title hopes were done. They would also get shut out 30-0 against Arkansas, but at least they beat Dak Prescott in number 4 Mississippi State to end his regular season career. They get selected to play in the Peach Bowl where they would get absolutely obliterated 42-3 by the Horned Frogs, and this would be the end of Cody Pruitt's football career. His numbers would take a little bit of a dip, as he finished with 64 tackles, one fumble, and only three picks, and Senquez Golson was now the safety that everyone thought about. Pruitt was still one of the top safeties in the country, but there were some concerns. His numbers had dropped, some people had called him soft, and behind the scenes, his shoulders were about to give out. He was still invited to the Combine, and was expected to be a day two or day three selection, but unfortunately, at the end of it all, his name was not called, which was devastating to him. From there, he was picked up by the Tennessee Titans, but just a couple days into practice, an offensive lineman would step on his foot, and it would require surgery. He would get both foot and shoulder surgery, and this would sideline him for a couple of months. From there, he got a couple of workouts, but it wasn't enough to impress any of these staffs, and he said the NFL was so much different than college, so he decided to hang up the cleats and focus on the next chapter of his life. Pruitt never played one snap in the NFL, and never even made an active roster despite being one of the top safeties in the country and a first-team All-American. He ended up working a couple of jobs, but as of right now, he is working in real estate and wants to start a podcasting and music future. I got inspired to watch this video as the season is coming up very soon, and I watched the highlights of that Ole Miss Bama game back in 2014, and I realized this guy was one of the best dudes in the country, and I had no clue what he was up to now. He was really fun to watch, and was the epitome of what Ole Miss football was all about back in the day, so it's unfortunate to see he didn't make it in the NFL, but he is happy with what he's doing now, and that's all we can hope for. What do you guys think, though? Why do you think Cody Pruitt never got a chance in the NFL? Who's another player I can do next, and what did you think of those old Ole Miss teams? Be sure to let me know down in the comment section. Like today's video if you want to support Cody and I, and check out all my other videos on the end screen. I hope to see you guys again soon, but until next time, peace.